All right, I am one classes. Uh, today, we we're talking about how to perform. Two of the transformations that we learned about in the last lesson, uh, we we're gonna do uh, translations and reflections. So the translations are the ones where the shape is just getting uh, slid around the grid. The reflection is the one where it's actual reflection of the image. It's getting flipped over the X or Y axis. So let's look at some examples, starting off with a translation. There's two types of notation that you have to work with with a translation. Um, here, uh, the easy type is this just tells you exactly how to move it. So it says translate the, the shape five units left, two units down. So all you need to do from each point, go five units to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, and then two units down. One, two, put your point. And do that from each point. So here, one, two, three, four, five, down one, two. Put a point from here to the left, one, two, three, four, five, down one, two. And then you connect your dots. I'll do it actually make these a different color just so we can see a different shape. Connect your dots with straight lines. And there we go. We have our translation. Uh, real quick, I want to show you what this looks like on Edge Elastic. If you're doing this on Edge Elastic, um, all you need to do, you, you have this polygon tool already selected. You do the same thing. Go left five, down two. So from each point, left one, two, three, four, five, down one, two. Drop your point. And then from each point, left one, two, three, four, five, down one, two. And then left. One, two, three, four, five, down two. And then you just need to click back at that starting point to finish. And then that is done. All right, so um, let's go back to our slides. It's a little easier for me to work on there. So uh, translation, two units up, two units right. So same thing, go two units up, one, two, two units to the right, one, two. Put your point and then from each shape up one two to the right one two up one two to the right one two connect your points and that's it for that one um the next way uh the other type of notation that you'll see is when it's uh x plus two y minus two so this the X direction is left to right. The Y direction is up and down. So if it's addition, you move to the right, subtraction to the left. Um, if it's on the Y, addition moves up, subtraction moves down. So this is going to be, since it's plus, it's right to down to from each point. So here, I'm gonna go right to, um, actually I'll go from K, right to, down to put my point and I do the same thing from each right one two down one two there's J and then or yeah right one two down one two there's our shape so here uh, x minus seven y plus six you're going to go left seven up six from the point, so left, one, two, actually I'm gonna go from the bottom point. It doesn't really matter which one you step at or start at, this is just gonna keep my stuff a little bit neater. So down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then up, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put the point, you can do that from each. Uh, or you can, once you have one of the points, you can see E is just gonna be one point above it. G is just one point over here. And then F is two points above G. You can also fill it in like that. So that works out just fine too. <clears throat> 
So next we're gonna talk about the reflections. Uh, make sure you pay attention to uh, what axis you're going over. So the X axis is the horizontal one, Y is the vertical. So I'm going to reflect over the X axis. I'm going to flip this shape over here. One thing to remember about the reflections is that the shapes uh, are each point uh, is this, uh, the point of reflection is gonna be the same distance from uh, the, the axis as the original point. So the W is one, two, three steps away from the X. So that means the new W is gonna be one, two, three points on the other side. Uh, so T, you can look, it's the same distance. One, two, three. So the new T is gonna be one, two, three, same distance. Uh, U is just right, gonna be right above T, V is gonna be right here. Once you know where the points are, you can just fill in the rest. You don't necessarily have to count from each point. But there we go, there's a the reflection. Um, and then let's do one from the Y axis. Oh, here's, here's a good one, a reflection where the shape is actually <clears throat> um, the line of reflection. Oh, no, it's not, Never mind. Uh, I was thinking this on the Y axis, it's still X axis. So you still go um, up one, two, and then the point is two away. So G, three, so I need to go three away. And then E is at five away, so five. They're all the same distance. Um, if they're reflecting across the Y, just same thing, but now it's the Y axis. So I here is one away, the point, the, the new I is gonna be just one away. H is one, two, three. So H is one, two, three, new H. G is one, two, three as well. So new G is one, two, three. Connect your points. One more on the Y. So S is one, two, three away. New S is gonna be one, two, three. The other side, B is just two, two more beyond it. Uh, T is one, two, three, four. So new T is four. And then U is five away. So new, new U is five away on the other side. And there we go. So uh, the assignment, it's all on edge elastic. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, we will see you guys next time.